What's going on guys? Do another uh, mask review here. Uh, this is a mask I just picked up the other day. Well, I didn't pick it up. It just came in the mail the other day. Um, it's a mask I've wanted for a while. It's a really cool mask. I was going to do an unboxing video, but uh, it came in a really small box, really flat box like this, no padding. It wasn't in a bag, it was just sliding around in, the, in this flat box, folded in half. So I was kind of upset about that, and um, I figured there's really no point in doing an uh, unboxing on this because I got it off eBay. And um, you know, most times I do unboxings, it's so you can see exactly what you're going to get if you order from uh, you know an artist or a company. Uh, you know, but with eBay, it's just kind of hit or miss. You know, and the pictures looked really great of this mask. Uh, they had it displayed really nicely, so I figured it would be shipped nicely, but it wasn't. Um, in the end, it's whatever. Um, I got the, sh the mask back into shape, but it took me a couple days to get it stuffed and get it really uh, um, back the way it's supposed to be. Because these older masks, you know, if there's a newer mask, like you order something from Trick or Treat Studios, they can come, you know, in a, a flat box. You'll, you know, you know, you pull them out and they just pop right back into shape. These older masks don't do that anymore. So um, you really got to watch how you ship them. Uh, again, I don't think the seller was very uh, knowledgeable when it came to masks. But I will say about the seller is. Um, they had a decent price on this mask, and I offered them a lower price, and they accepted my offer. So that was really cool. I got it for less money than um, than they were asking originally. But here's the mask. This is a Don Post uh, Gastro mask. A very cool old mask. You can find this in their 86 catalog. Uh, possibly their 85 catalog, I'm not sure. Um, this is one of three... Uh, glow masks that I have from uh, that catalog. Um, it says in the back here, it's not going to show up on camera. It says a Don Post mask, 1985, Don Post Studios. Back there, in the back of the head. I doubt that'll show up on camera. I don't know how long this was in production. Um, I believe this is to be from the 80s. I don't know how long they made this mask exactly, but I know it says 85 is when they originally did the mold and I know this is in their 80, uh, 86 catalog possibly the 85 catalog there's no slit up the back for this one it's got a wide enough neck you can just put it on what this is is kind of just like a uh, kind of like a chunky uh, ghoul I guess kind of like a fat ghoul type thing again it's called gastro very cool old mask I tried to get these on video glowing in the dark and the camera just wasn't picking it up but uh, I love the way these old Don Post masks glow. Um, just the process that you, you know you still buy masks that glow in the dark, but they just don't. They didn't. They don't use the same process anymore. I don't believe. I don't believe they use the same process as they used to. So this the way these glow. It's just really cool. It's just it, it's different than uh, anything else I've seen. I just love that. I, again, I wish uh, it would show up on camera better when I turn the lights out, but it just doesn't pick up. But. Uh, all over the Don Post skull, the Don Post uh, jukebox mask. They also glow. You can also find those in the '86 catalog. I don't exactly know how old that skull is, but it glows really well too. And this guy glows just insane. Again, it's a different process they used to use. Um, and these old masks, I don't know if they used it if they put the glow additive in the rubber when they make them, or if it's in the paint. But they just glow. Even even these, you know, these have yellowed over time. These older masks kind of lost some of their color but when they glow they still just glow so bright and it's just really cool so yeah this is gastro and the Don Post Studios it's a really cool uh, old mask again there's no slit up the back you can wear this it's a little wider got them back about the way he's supposed to his cheeks are kind of still dented his eyes I'm still working on but for the most part, he's about back into back into the shape he's supposed to be. These old glow masks are really cool. I wouldn't mind picking up a few, uh, a few more. A 
again, stamped 1985 um, in the 86 catalog. Again, don't know how long they made this for. But very cool, very cool coloration of the teeth and the gums for being an older mask. Classic. Again, uh, when these three are on their shelves glowing at night, they look really cool. Really glad to score this for a decent price. Again, it's in great shape. Um, it's getting kind of harder in a few areas, not completely hard, but no rips or tears, no rotting, no cracking. So I'm really, really happy about that. I got one in such great shape. So yeah, Gastro, made by Don Poe Studios. Old school mask from the mid 80s, very cool. I love these glow masks. They glow just insanely cool, different than anything I've ever seen. Anything, diff definitely different than uh, anything in the in the newer, newer stuff. They definitely glow different than that, so kind of something you can only find with these old masks. Yeah, that's Gastro by Don Post Studios. And yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching, guys. Later.